Are you ready for your vacation in Bali? Step into its untouched beauty and tranquility as you admire its lush jungles, ancient temples, and once-in-a-lifetime ocean experience? Do you have plans to spend time in Bali? In this video, we are going to show you how to spend 10 exciting days in Bali covering all the island. On day one, picture yourself sailing over to the beautiful Panita Island for cost $92. You will stop at Kelinkan Beach, one of the most famous spots in Bali. Then we'll move on to Broken Beach and Angel's Billabong Beach, often called the Angel of Nusa Penida. Don't forget to take your soon to be famous Instagram pictures. After which, you may choose to go and take a refreshing snorkel and see the untouched sea life Bali has to offer. Day 2 Explore a med area which represents Bali in its untouched form. Renting a car with driver for 10 hours costing $40 is by far the best way to go. While in a med, Take an early morning dive to see the Japanese shipwreck, the Jumaluk Temple on the water, or Lipa Coral Gardens. As you leave Ahmed, be sure to stop at the Royal Palace on the water. Nestled in the heart of Bali, amidst lush green gardens and tranquil ponds, stand the beautiful water palace, Taman Uyung. Next stop, Tirtaganga Water Palace is an exquisite complex of ponds, swimming pools, carved gateways, fountains, and lush garden. The main feature is being able to walk out into the ponds and be surrounded by beautiful fishes. Don't forget the Lepuyang Temple, the iconic location. It's one of the Bali's oldest and most highly regarded temples. You made it. It's now day three of your magical journey in paradise. A day for traveling to the middle of the island and then taking time to relax and recoup. On your way to Baturita area, you will enjoy a beautiful scenic drive up the mountains. Stopping at Alas Kedaitan Monkey Temple which is a small forest temple and animal sanctuary with many free roaming monkeys on the ground. Then move on to Ulun Danu Baratan Temple, which was built in the 17th century to worship the Hindu Trinity. The sight and the cool atmosphere of Bali uplands have made the lake and this temple a favorite sightseeing and recreational spot. An early conclusion to your day as you picture yourself back in the hotel to relax. Day four, which is a very exciting time to go to the most southern end of Bali. This is the Uluwatu village on the southern tip of the Bukit Peninsula. Stopping at one of Bali's popular beaches on the way, Jembaran Beach, which offers a pleasant sand and far fewer crowds than Kuta Beach, Padang Padang Beach, which is one of the most famous surf spots in Bali. Or you can go to the Dreamland Beach, a popular surfing beach, which is now officially known as New Kuta Beach. The best way to conclude the day is the highlight of Uluwatu, the Kikok and Fire Dance. This is the most famous dance in Bali. Day five will take us to Lavinia. Lavinia is located in the utmost northern coast of Bali. To witness the best sunrise ever, you must go to Lavinia Beach. Definitely taking a dolphin tour as we greet the sunrise is most ideal. Arriving back to Lavinia shores by 8 a.m., we then drive west to Permuturan village from Pramuturan village, we then go to the Manjangan Island. Diving in these waters is the ultimate diving experience. 
The combination of the untouched sea life and beautiful corals is definitely not an experience to be missed. One better way to conclude it than to stop right around the corner at the Banduedeng Hot Spring. We then go back down to Lavina Beach as we greet the sunset listening to beautiful music. Your visit to Ubud on day six will take you to the Goa Gaja, the elephant cave, which was built in the ninth century and served as a sanctuary. We then go to say hi to the monkeys at the sacred monkey forest sanctuary. Ubud traditional art market is the best art market in Ubud. On the seventh day in Ubud, we go to the Pura, Tirta, and Paul. This is one of the busiest temples in Indonesia. Tirta and Paul is a temple considered to be sacred by the Balinese Hindu community. You then take a trip to the Kulamir, one of the most marvelous coffee plantation with swings. Next stop, we go to Siking Rice Terrace. You can't go to Ubud without stopping to take a photograph on the swing and dine in their beautiful rice field. It's now day eight. We visit Senor, which is the southeast of Bali. It has upscale restaurants and great entertainment. If you love to serve, definitely stop at the Masita Beach, which is only a few miles from Senor. This is a great place to go and challenge the wave. Day nine. Yes, your vacation is coming to an end, but only for a while. What better place to conclude it than to go back to Kuta? In the early morning while you're in Kuta, definitely take a trip up to Tenolat, which means land in the sea. As we leave Tenolat, going back to Kuta Beach, Kuta Beach has one of the best sunsets you will ever see. As you drink your baton and greet the sunset, you now see why Bali is considered to be a tropical paradise. If you think I did a good job on this video and would like to help my channel, please hit that like and subscribe button. From your friendly world traveler, I bid you safe journey.